the 5th of August. Louis that may not have been. That was a, a picture, I say, taken that day. I was not shown it on the 5th of August. I was shown yes, one picture, picture on the 5th of August. It was not my point. But that was... You now have before you. No marked differences, no. Now you feel that if you had seen that picture and then seen Mr. Chambers come walking into the room that you would identify the two as being the same, do you? Mr. Mund, I would like to remind you, I think you were not in New York on the day when I first saw Mr. Chambers since this testimony of his had occurred. One was that he himself testified that he had had major alterations in his teeth. I have a recollection of Crosley as a man with notably poor teeth. I also identified him on the basis of his statement in my presence that he had been in my apartment with my permission when I was not there but was living on P Street on the basis of his statement in my presence that with my permission he had spent several days in my house on P Street at about the same time. And finally, because he admitted to the authorship of a tall tale, which I remembered Crosley as having told me, and which I think I testified to the committee either on Monday or on Tuesday, that I did recall Crosley as having told. Namely, that for local color purposes, as a writer, he had participated in laying the tracks of the first street railway in Washington, D.C. That struck me when I first heard it as a tall tale. It still does. I told your committee that I was prepared to identify Chambers as the man I had known under the circumstances I have testified to as Crosley. That is the record. That is the fact. Mr. Hebert accused me of agility. I accept no accusation except that of truth. Do you find any major... And the picture taken on the day Mr. Whitaker Chambers testified before the committee. I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to recognize, you can only see part of the face there. I urge this committee, in the letter I sent to the chairman yesterday, I urged. I hope I will have a chance to read that letter into the record so it will be a part of the record. What did you say? You'll have a chance. Thank you. I certainly urge this committee not to follow any hit and run tactics to keep right after this issue of who is Chambers, of what credibility to give to his fantastic testimony. I certainly do, and I intend to do the best I can to get to the bottom of this and to give this committee any information I can dig up. And I've asked my counsel so to do as my counsel digs up any facts. I'm very glad to hear it. Regardless of the cost, regardless of the time, regardless of who is to be embarrassed, uh, so far as the smears go that have been talked about so often during...